Hi, my name is Gwen, and I'm a registered nurse in Michigan. I've spent more than 34 years caring for family and friends in my community hospital. In the coming weeks, state leaders will have to make very difficult decisions about where to spend and where not to spend federal money. These are difficult decisions that will impact real people in my community, and my hospital is not alone. Today, there are more than 130 community hospitals across the state providing care to millions of patients, even those who can't pay, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Last year, Michigan's hospitals admitted nearly 1.2 million people, provided care during more than 30 million outpatient visits, evaluated 4.6 million visitors to their emergency rooms, and delivered more than 107,000 babies. That's a lot of care. But the importance of our state hospitals doesn't stop there. Statewide, hospitals employ nearly 219,000 people and account for about $13.8 billion in wages annually. And hospital employees spend their incomes in their communities, supporting other Michigan businesses and jobs for their neighbors. And now there's an opportunity to make an even bigger difference. If the state accepts the new federal dollars for Medicaid expansion, as many as 600,000 Michiganians could gain health care coverage. Today, most of these individuals do not have health insurance for one of three reasons. They can't afford the cost, their employer doesn't offer insurance coverage, or they're unemployed. Despite their lack of insurance, these individuals need health care just like everyone else adding up to more than $880 million each year in unreimbursed treatment that Michigan hospitals provide. This ongoing challenge continues to put stress on Michigan's health care safety net. Unless something changes, many hospitals might invest less in programs to improve community health, like free clinics, screenings, and support groups, while others may have to eliminate jobs or reduce services like emergency, women's, and children's care. Even worse, hospitals that are already struggling may be forced to close their doors. In many communities, if hospitals stop providing these services, no one else would. People would have to travel farther for care, creating longer wait times and delaying critical care for everyone. As a nurse, I know this will not serve my patients well. And as a Michiganian, I know this will not serve my state well. But state leaders have a choice. Expanding Michigan's Medicaid program under the provisions of federal health reform would save the state money and significantly reduce the number of Michigan residents who are uninsured. Please help Michigan hospitals to keep their commitment to care. Ask your elected officials in Lansing to accept the federal funds for Michigan's Medicaid expansion. Ensuring access to health care for our citizens is the right thing to do.